Hi, I'm Sherelle with the Lutcher Theatre Guild Hospitality Team. If you've had a chance to watch the Lutcher Theatre's behind the scenes video on social media, you met our operations manager, Chris, and she mentioned her hospitality team puts our heart and our souls into providing home cooked meals for the cast and crew of every show. Welcome to my kitchen. We're going to cook. But first, let's talk logistics while we tour my kitchen. I'm fortunate to have a double kitchen situation of sorts with separate sinks for food prep and cleanup, as well as two countertops. In a minute, you'll see how that comes in very handy. When I work the hospitality lead position for a show, I submit two or three menu choices for Chris to present to the company's road manager. That's full menus with entree choices, salads, sides, and desserts. And just for fun, I personally like to try to make the menu match the show. For example, for a show like Bandstand, which is set in the 1940s, I researched cookbooks from that era, and we did things like chicken pot pie and jello salad. Once the menus agreed upon, our team members get their assignments. As the lead, I generally take care of the main entree and one or more of the side dishes. It's also my job to make sure everyone else in their own kitchen understands the recipe they've been assigned and has a plan on how to transport it to the theater, as well as keep it at the proper serving temperature once they get it there. Oftentimes, the cast is doing a final dress rehearsal or sound check, so they rarely are coming to eat the food right when we get there with it from home. That can be tricky. You may remember Chris also said the hospitality we provide reflects our sense of pride in our community. And for the show Amazing Grace, I decided to do just that. Chris and I curated a menu I called Amazing Orange. And the star of that menu was orange pepper chicken, seasoned with one of my favorite spice blends from San Antonio, Texas. And since I normally do prepare both my entree and my side dish at the same time, we're also going to make, together, green chili cauliflower. We're making one batch of orange pepper chicken, but keep in mind, I'm not in a restaurant kitchen, so sometimes I can only make one batch of the recipe at the time. Then I make it again, and again, and again. I've sanitized my countertop and my cutting boards with bleach spray. I've rinsed them, then dried them with a fresh towel. They're ready to go. I keep a dirty dish cart in easy reach, and when I get a minute, I roll it to the cleanup side of my kitchen. As much as possible, I try to clean up as I go. Anything that's touched raw chicken goes immediately onto my dirty dish cart. I seasoned the chicken a few hours ago with orange pepper rub, and now we're gonna shake it in a bag of seasoned flour and put a quick sear on it in a skillet of heated olive oil. Three minutes per side, so we'll set the timer and come back and turn it over. This doesn't have to be pretty, you guys, because it's gonna bake in a minute with vegetables and orange juice on top of it, just so you know. Into the baking pan it goes. We're going to be adding two sliced carrots and some orange juice, fresh squeezed, of course, Doesn't really matter where they go. And the last thing, as Emerald says, we're gonna kick it up a notch with a little bit of orange extract. I'm gonna cover it with foil 
And when it all bakes together, the flour on the chicken will thicken like a sauce with the orange juice, making a sauce all on its own. We in the South, we're big on gravy. The chicken will bake at 375 for 35 minutes. And while it's baking, we're gonna make the green chili cauliflower. I've already separated my cauliflower into florets and lightly steamed them. Let's make the sauce together. I'm combining four ounces of cream cheese, four slices of white American cheese, a fourth cup of water, and a small can of green chilies. I only use organic green chilies. They're a little more pricey, but they never have any tough pieces or stems in them. Sometimes the cheaper brands of green chilies do. Just give that a minute to turn into a nice little sauce. Doesn't it smell delicious? One of the things I've really enjoyed about being in the Guild is, see this little electric skillet? I've actually brought this to the theater many times to cook for different people backstage, you know, just depending on what their food needs are. For example, we had a star who was having some health issues. You guys may have heard of her, Christian Chenoweth. Nothing earth shattering, but she needed a certain type of special diet at the time she came to the Lodger Theater. So we made low sodium, a completely low sodium meal and we cooked the chicken breasts right there, fresh, in this little electric skillet backstage at the theater. Well, the next day, her aunt, who was visiting, saw the show, came across the street to the Stark Museum of Art, where I was working at the time. I was able to give them a tour of the museum, and she said to me, I haven't seen Kristen eat that much and that well since she got sick. Thank you so much. It really meant a lot to me, really special memory. We'll lightly toss the sauce with the well-drained cauliflower and transfer to our baking dish. Can't miss any of that good sauce. You know, like I said before, it's all about gravy. The last 25 minutes of the recipe, we pull the foil off and cook the chicken that way, uncovered. Now that the chicken's done, let's cut the temperature to 325 and put the cauliflower in. We'll bake the cauliflower for 25 minutes. Here comes the fun part. I've prepared a transport staging area with large foam coolers. Depending on how many times I've prepared duplicates of the recipe, I can stack several of them
into one of these large styrofoam coolers. When I get to the theater, we have a restaurant style warming tower which will keep our food at a safe and delicious serving temperature until the cast is ready to eat. Now, here's a little about me. I was an international first class flight attendant for 33 years. And before that, I got my bachelor's from Texas A&M in technical writing and studied law at Texas Tech School of Law. I decided being an attorney wasn't for me. But law school taught me to be very detail oriented and as a first class flight attendant back in the day, it wasn't uncommon for me to serve poached salmon or Chateaubriand or homemade brownies with ice cream for brownie sundaes all out of an airplane galley kitchen about the size of a postage stamp. And that's prepare from scratch and serve. It's no surprise, my favorite Letcher Theater show of all time was Catch Me If You Can. Chris let me go wild with decorating the tables with airline memorabilia. Years later, cast members from that show, now touring with other shows, come back to the Letcher Theater and they say to me, you're that lady that made us the airplanes. Another favorite was Stephen Lang's one-man show, Beyond Glory. It's a series of vignettes about men who've received the Congressional Medal of Honor. As a flight attendant, I was chosen to work a very special charter flight out of New York LaGuardia, carrying 30 Congressional Medal of Honor recipients to Washington, D.C. to place a wreath on the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Stephen Lang had met and interviewed many of the men that I'd entertained aboard that flight. I served his dinner backstage with an empty place setting. It's called a white table setting, and in the military, it pays tribute to those fallen soldiers no longer with us. Stephen Lang was so surprised, he read the entire menu aloud, slowly, his very distinctive and well-trained voice filling the staging area of the Lutcher Theater. He then hugged me and asked if he could kiss me on the cheek. Wow. How often do you get a chance to be kissed in Orange, Texas by an international film star? Only at the Lutcher, girls. Only at the Lutcher. I want to invite you to come and join me and share some of these great experiences. Make some new memories, all right? Every year around August, we have a membership drive, and you might see me on TV letting you know when it is. Come on down to the Lutcher, ask all the questions you want, and join us, won't you?